Hey guys, Matt here, and in this video, you're gonna learn all of the essential Japanese that you need to know in order to play Fire Emblem Engage in Japanese. Nakama in Japanese is a relatively useful piece of language, not just for Fire Emblem. As we can see here, it means companion, fellow, friend, mate, comrade. There's a whole bunch of different ways of translating this language into Japanese. So to get a really good feel for exactly what this piece of language actually is getting at, let's have a look at the Japanese definition. And as we can see right here, the first definition says, a relationship where you do something together. Also, that person. So a person or a relationship where you guys do the same thing together. Now, here, the nakama is referring to the companions in your journey. To dei means you're going to meet these companions. So, meeting these companions along your journey. So, totomoni is together with. So, together with the nakama that we just learned. And then we have seicho shite iku. Seicho suru here is a super useful piece of language to mean to grow or to develop something. And like we can see here in the Japanese definition, it says that you either are growing a person, as in raising a person, or for example, growing a business, as in raising a business, growing a business. And so here, the seicho shite iku role playing means it's a role playing game where you grow together with your comrades. Tomo ni seicho shite iku role playing to sodateta nakama o senjo de shiki shite tatakau. Now here with sodateta nakama, so we know nakama is your allies, your friends, and then sodatsu. Here is the verb to raise, to train, to bring up something. Very very similar to seicho that we saw before. So. The sodateta nakama could be the same thing as seicho shita nakama, the same kind of meaning. So here, the companions that you've trained. As this is a very key concept in Fire Emblem where you actually level up your nakama, you level up your companions and get them stronger and stronger. We'll see a little bit more about that later in this video. The next bit we have here is shiki shite tatakao. So shiki suru here is to command, like as in to order, as in to order in battle. And then here tatakao is to fight. So command and battle, the companions that you've trained.仲間にできるキャラクターは総勢30人以上。性格や出身、年齢も異なる個性豊かなキャラクターたちは剣士や騎馬兵、重装歩兵に魔導士など兵士も様々。このたくさんの中からこの身のキャラクターを選んで育て
剣士や騎馬兵重装。And then on the right, the madoshi here is a mage. So this is the kind of magic sorcerer type class that throws magic at the enemy. So this is a very, very common class, not just in Fire Emblem, but in a whole bunch of RPGs and games in general. The madoshi is a mage. Ma representing magic, do meaning the way of, and then she again, kind of the warrior, the master of something. So here, someone who specializes in their way of magic. Madoshi. Heishu mo samazama. Heishu is a super useful piece of language for Fire Emblem in particular, and this is the word in Fire Emblem for a class. Literally, he is like the soldier, and then shu means the type of, so the type of soldier, the class. This is a relatively rare word outside of Fire Emblem, but this is a very important piece of language for anyone wanting to play Fire Emblem. This is the class word. Heishu. So if you want to find out what class to change, that word right there you want to become very familiar with. Heishu. There are an absolute ton of classes in this game, and there's even some new ones like we can see here with the Wolf Knight. That's really cool.、Uh, you can actually ride on a wolf. <laughs> That's probably going to be my favorite new class in this game, the Wolf Knight. I want to make a whole army of Wolf Knights. <laughs> Just annihilate everyone with my Wolf Army. <laughs> and that's the fun thing about Fire Emblem. You can kind of create your own army using lots of different variations of classes. Here with Heishu. このたくさんの中から好みのキャラクターを選んで育てることができます。Favorite characters and you level them up. Here with Konomi no Kyarakta, that means your favorite character. Konomi here means something to your liking. Konomi no Kyarakta means a character to your liking, your favorite character. Hajime wa Kayoa Katta Kyarakta mo. Aijo o Sosoi de Jikri to Soda Tereba, Tanomoshi Sonzai. Nakama o Soda Te, Customize Ste. あなたが指揮しやすいあなた好みの軍を作るそれがファイアーエンブレムの醍醐味です。However, after training them with love and care, here with Aijo o Sosogu. Aijo is like love or affection, and then Sosogu actually means to pour, or for example, to devote, to concentrate your affection on. Aijo o Sosogu, to pour your love on something, right? To put your affection and your love into something. So here, Aijo o Sosogu. Tanomoshi Sonzai. And if you do that, they will become tanomoshi, reliable, or something that you can trust, shinrai dekiru, someone that you could reassuringly depend on. So if you level up your allies, they will become tanomoshi. And so the really cool thing about this game is you can actually customize your army, as I said previously, and that here is customize. So this is how to say customize in Japanese, kind of katakana English, customize. So, you customize the allies that you've trained, and you can create an army that is easy for you to command. And so, here, shikishiasui means easy to command, we saw command previously, and then to create an army here is gun o tsukuru. So, gun is a word for the army. Very useful word. Whenever you want to talk about an army, you can just use the word gun, right? So, gun o tsukuru. Skuru is to make an army. And that's the whole thing about Fire Emblem is you want to kind of form your army with your favorite characters and challenge all of these battles together. That is what Fire Emblem is all about.
This is a really cool piece of language right here, daigomi, and this means the real thrill of something, the true charm, the real pleasure of something. As we can see in the Japanese definition here in number two, monogoto no honto no omoshirosa. So the true interesting thing about something. And so, Fire Emblem no Daigomi wa, what Fire Emblem is all about is raising your allies and your friends and building this army that best fits you and your playstyle. Senjo ni tsukuto, battle ga kaishi. Mazu wa, shitsugeki suru nakama o sentaku. Ugoka shitai mikata o eran de idou. 相手を決めて武器を選んだらいざ攻撃 so this game is all about battling, and so here, when you go to a battlefield, that is the word right here, senjo. Senjo ni tsukuto, battle ga kaishi. Sen meaning a battle, and then jo here representing the place. So a battlefield, a place of battle. Senjo ni tsukuto, when you arrive at the battlefield, battle ga kaishi. The battle begins. So, battle, that's a battle, super useful piece of language, and then kaishi is to begin. Something you should definitely become familiar with when you play Fire Emblem because you want to know how to begin a battle. That's that word right here, kaishi, to begin. And so the first thing you need to do in order to do a battle is you need to first choose which companions, which nakama, you want in your team. And so here, this really useful piece of language for Fire Emblem in particular is this shutsugeki. So shutsu is to go out, geki for attack, to go out for attack. So all this really means is just to head out in order to get ready to attack the enemy. So that's this shutsugeki. And so you need to select your nakama, your friends, your allies, in order to actually choose which characters you want to have in that battle. And select in Japanese is this sentaku. So first, select a companion to sortie. Once you've started battle, you then need to move your characters. And so here, ugokasu is to make something move, ugokashitai, what you want to move, mikata. This is another word for ally. So we've already learnt nakama, and this is for someone who you do the same thing together with. But this mikata, this more just represents that someone's on your side, right? They're your ally, for example, in a war. They could both be technically translated as ally, but just so you know, this is the main key difference between these two words. Nakama is someone that you do something together with, and Mikata is someone that's on your side. And so in order to move your allies, you need to get familiar with this next piece of language, Ido. This is movement. And you'll likely see this in the actual game menu when you want to choose to move your allies, you'll see this Ido. So this is the noun for movement itself. And so if you want to move your characters on the battlefield, that's the word right there that you want to learn, Ido. Once you've moved your character, all you have to do is select the enemy, so decide on the enemy you want to attack, and then choose the weapon that you want to attack with. And now it's time to attack. Kogeki. Kogeki is an incredibly common piece of language right here to mean to attack. This is the word that you want to use when you want to say attack in Fire Emblem. Kogeki. <laughs> And so the way this game works is it's very, very easy to play because you just take turns with the enemy. So anyone could play this game. It's not difficult inputs or anything like that. You just take turns, kind of like a Pokemon game, right? So here, the turn is represented with turn. So you keep on taking turns in order to defeat the enemy's general, whether your general, the leader of your army, or the opponent's general, the leader of their army. And so the leader of the enemy's army here is Tekigun no Rida. As we know, Gun already is an army, Teki is the enemy, so Tekigun, the enemy army, Tekigun no Rida, I think that's probably pretty obvious for anyone who knows English, this is the leader, the leader of the Tekigun. 
the enemy army leader. Defeating the enemy army's leader is the main objective of the battle. And so here, Mokuhyo is the objective, the thing that you're targeting, the thing that you're trying to achieve. And achieve in Japanese here is Tasseisuru. And so Mokuhyo Tasseisuru is to achieve your objective. Once you've achieved the objective, Shouri des. You win. Victory. Sendio as we can see again here, the Cavalier, the Kibahe, this is the unit that rides on horseback, we can see Ido Hani no Hiroi. So Ido we know is movement, and then Hai here is the kind of scope or the range, the range of movement. And then we have Hiroi, this means wide. So the Cavalier with a wide range of movement, that's the speciality here of this Cavalier unit. It can move really, really long distances, probably the longest distance out of most of the other units. <laughs> and as we saw previously, the heavy infantry, well here we can see a description of that heavy infantry, the well defended, and that is Shubi no Katai. So shubi is the defense, and then katai means kind of tough, hard, or solid. So a tough defense, a hard defended, a well defended heavy infantry. We have another new class here, one of my personal favorites, the archer. Archer in Japanese is yumihe, or also kyuhe, but in this game right here we just saw yumihe. Yumi for bow, and then hair for the soldier. Now this you also see in katakana, just simply archer, so just an archer. So this is the one that attacks from a distance, and that's what it says right here, hanareta tokoro kara neraeru. So to aim from a faraway place. There's even a pegasus naito. So this is a Pegasus Knight, and as I said, uh, the, the Cavalier Kibahe, this is something that may travel large distances, well I think this is also one of the furthest travelling troops in the, in the whole Fire Emblem series, because they actually fly even above water, and that is expressed right here with Mizu no ue mo toberu, means to fly even on top of water. <laughs> Now all of these classes have their own strengths and weaknesses. And so these strengths in battle are expressed here with tokui na tatakai kata. So tokui na is a na adjective to express that something is something that you're good at, tokui. And then tatakai kata is the way of fighting. And so each of these units have different strengths in their fighting style. So it's important to keep in mind the composition of your team in order to get shorty, in order to get victory. And here the team composition is expressed here with Chimu Hensei. So in Japanese if we have a look at Hensei, this means the systematic collection of various different things. As in the organization of something. So the organization of your team. Chimu Hensei. And so for example, if we take a look at the heavy infantry, the Jusohohe, well, they are actually strong against weapon attacks. So, buki kogeki ni wa tsuyoi, strong against weapon attacks, but then they're weak against magic. Maho ni wa yoai. So be careful, you may be able to defend all of your enemy attacks, but if there's a mage somewhere, they will absolutely blow up your heavy infantry, your juso hohe. 
ペガサスナイトなどの飛行系は弓に弱い Another example here is Pegasus Knights. So they have a huge range. They can fly really, really far. However, they're vulnerable to bows. Yumi ni yowai. So here we can see ni tsyoi. Ni yowai is to express to be strong against something or to be weak against something. Kogeki ni tsyoi, strong against attacks. Maho ni yowai, weak against magic. Ono wa ken ni yowaku. Yari wa ono ni yowai nado. 兵士や武器の相性があるので移動先には注意が必要。And there's also kind of like a weapon triangle system going on in this game where axes are actually weak to swords. So if you fight someone with an axe while you have a sword, you'll actually have an advantage. Axes are weak against swords. Spears are vulnerable to axes, and so on. Now, this may all sound quite difficult, but actually, there's a lot of features to actually help you get into this game, even if you're a complete beginner, someone who's new to the game. So, if you are a Hajimete no Kata, that means you're new to Fire Emblem, and there are many useful functions to help you play. Asobi Asui Kino. Kino here being these functions that we're about to have a look at. So, for example, if you get into range of an enemy when you're moving your troops, here to be in range would be Shate Kennai, within range. And so, when you get into range of an enemy, you can see this little red line coming at you. This is sen, a line in Japanese. So that line coming at you is the sen. Sen de, with the line, it will actually teach you when you're in range of an enemy attack. And so you can avoid this situation, kaihi suru, thanks to these red lines, sen. Before attacking the enemy, Kogeki no Mae, you can actually have a look at the expected outcome of a fight between your enemy. And so you could see your expected hit points before and after you engage in battle. So, this expected health points is the Yoso Hito Pointo. Hito Pointo is just the HP, but Yoso here means the expected, the anticipated. So, what is the expected result after engaging in fights? You can even have a look at the attack order between you and your opponent. Here, Kogeki no Junban. Jumban is the order in something. Really useful piece of language, Jumban. This isn't just a game specific piece of language. Jumban is super useful. Whenever you talk about the order in literally anything, first, second, third, fourth, that is the word here, Jumban. So here, Koka Teki na Buki. Buki is referring to all of the weapons like axes, swords, and bows. And when you choose which one is the most effective, that word here is expressed with Koka Teki. So you pick the most effective, Motomo Koka Teki na Buki, the most effective weapon, depending on who you're fighting against. そんな時には時間を遡って行動をやり直すことができます。Another really cool thing about this game is that you can actually go back in time so you can make up for some of your past mistakes. This is a useful feature for beginners. And so here, going back in time is 時間を遡る。そんな時には時間を遡って。So 時間 is time. And then we're doing something to time. 時間を遡る means to go 
back. A cool thing about this word saka no boru, if we have a look at the dictionary in Japanese, we can see that it means to go against the flow of something, as in going against the flow of a river. So this is also saka no boru, to go back through a river, against the stream. Or the stream of time, right? So history, time itself, to go back through time. This is also saka no boru. So it means to go against the flow of something. To go against the flow of time. And so, if you do that, you can redo yarinaosu, your actions. So, this is really, really useful for any kind of beginner who maybe is really worried about making the right move. And Fire Emblem is all about making mistakes and taking chances and putting units in different places and trying different、uh, strategies and things out. So, to be able to redo if you make a mistake is really, really useful. やり直すと redo. So, if you're a beginner, a 初心者 then this is definitely a feature that you want to make use of. バトルを重ね、経験値がたまるとレベルアップ。Now, in Fire Emblem, as we saw in the beginning, characters start out weak. Remember, your why. However, you can actually level up your characters. Reberu up. In order to level up your characters, you need to get experience points. And how do you do that? You do that by battling lots and lots. And so, by battling lots and lots, Keikenchi ga tamaru. Keikenchi is an incredibly useful piece of word for Japanese RPGs or any RPG in particular. This is experience points. Keikenchi ga tamaru means that it builds up, it accumulates experience. So by battling over and over, you can accumulate your experience. And so you level up. Battle を重ね Keikenchi ga tamaru to level up. Keikenchi wa. 敵を倒した時にたくさんもらえるので味方でダメージを与えておき育てたい仲間でとどめを刺すようにすると成長が早まります。And so, this is a really important point. If you want to level up a particular character or class, you want to make sure to defeat those enemies with the class that you want to level up. Why? Because when you defeat an enemy, you get lots of experience. たくさんもらえる And so, if you finish them off with your favorite characters, then growth will be accelerated. So, we know Seicho is the growth of something, the growth of your character, and then Hayamaru is to accelerate, to make something go quicker. So, make sure to use your favorite characters as much as you can in order to level them up. And there are a lot of other ways that you can actually do to help increase your character's strengths. For example, this really cool place here, Tanren no Ma. This is a training area. Tanren here it means kind of like a harsh training, right? To really push yourself to get stronger and stronger, better and better. And then Ma here is expressing a space. So a training space, a training room. You can also use some valuable items, Kichona itemu, in order to make your favorite characters stronger. ランダムで現れる遭遇戦はストーリーと関係なく何度でもバトルできるのでここで徹底的にレベルを上げることも。Another cool thing is there is actually random battles in this game that have no connection to the story whatsoever. 関係ない。So here, story と関係なく。To have no relation to the storyline. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually battle as many times as you want. Nando demo. So, Nando demo expresses that just many, 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 many times, as many times as you want. Nando is how many times, and demo is even if. So, even if as many times as you want, you can level up your characters. Rebelu o ageru. Ageru is to raise something, so raising your level. Rebelu o ageru. But you could also, for example, sageru, to lower. 
That's the opposite of ageru. So, the opposite of ageru. So, the opposite of ageru. あらかじめ決まっていますが、アイテムを使うと別の兵士にクラスチェンジすることができます。Now, one really cool thing about Fire Emblem is all of these characters have a predetermined class that they start with. However, you can actually change the class. You can do a Heishu no Henko, a change of unit type. And so if you use this certain item, you can class change, Kuras Chenji, into whatever other class that you want to turn your favorite character into. Heishu ga kawareba, katakai kata mo garari to henka. さらにレベルが10以上になると上級兵士にクラスチェンジできます。Not only that, in addition, さらに、that when your character gets to level 10 or higher, so 10以上、level 10 or higher, you can actually change your class to an advanced unit. So here, the advanced unit is 上級兵士。So, this first part here, the Jokyu, represents upper class. The first kanji is for up. We saw it in Ageru to go up, right?、Um, upper, and then Q is class. So, this is super useful when you're talking about the grade of something, the ranking of something. Here, upper class. So, an advanced unit. Jokyu Heishu. Jokyu Heishu になるとさまざまな能力がアップ。強力な武器も扱えるように。しかも見た目もレベルアップキャラクターへの思い入れが一層深まります And so by advancing your character into a 上級兵士 you can increase your ability 能力がアップ But also as you level up you're able to handle more powerful weapons And you can even level up your appearance 見た目 And so, mita me means your appearance, how you look. So, you can actually customize that in Fire Emblem, which is really cool. I really like that to be able to kind of change the way your character looks. Maybe you don't like their particular outfit. Well, you can customize it. お気に入りのキャラクターを好きな兵士につかせ、あなたの目指す戦い方に合わせて育成して、自分だけの最強の軍を編成してみてください。Ikuse here is a core piece of language in the Fire Emblem universe, as this is what's talking about the training. This is referring to the leveling up of something. Like when you level up a character, level up their weapons, give them support, all of the things that you level up a character with, that is called Ikuse, for training. And here, Saikyo is for the strongest, as in Saikyo no Gun. The strongest army. As that's the whole objective of this game is to create the strongest army based on your own personal preferences. お気に入りのキャラクターを好きな兵士につかせ、あなたの目指す戦い方に合わせて育成して、自分だけの最強の軍を編成してみてください。Now, Fire Emblem is all about the connection that you have with your characters. These characters, as you battle together with them, you can actually deepen your bond with the character, you can get to know each other more, you can also make them stronger. By spending more time with your favorite characters, you can get to know them and get stronger. This is one of the really important RPG, almost visual novel parts of Fire Emblem. So, by fighting together with your allies, so, Tonari de, next to you, Tatakatari, do things like fight. Also, when you heal your allies, Kaifukusuru, the bond gets stronger between those two characters. And the bond here in Japanese is Kizuna. Now, Kizuna in Japanese, this bond, represents that you can't kind of separate one another. It becomes very difficult to separate one person and another. They have a strong bond, Kizuna. And as that bond, Kizuna, becomes stronger and stronger, you get these really useful pieces of support conversations. It's great for Japanese practice, and it's also really good to get to know the characters a little bit more deeply. And this support conversation is here, Shien Kaiwa. 
Xi'an is just the support, and then Kaiwa is a super useful piece of language for a conversation. Actually, for example, if you've ever heard of like a conversation school, like an English conversation school, that's actually E Kaiwa. Kaiwa here for conversation, E for English. So here, Xi'an Kaiwa is a support conversation. So as you level up and grow your Kizuna, your bond with the characters, then you're actually able to have these really cool and interesting support conversations. And with these support conversations, you can kind of get to know your character a little bit more deeply and even see some unexpected sides of them. However, it's not just to get to know the character a little bit more on a deeper level personally, it also is advantageous in battle. Kizuna wa battle ni mo yuri ni hatarakimasu. So here we have battle ni yuri. Yuri here means advantageous in something. And you mark what you're advantageous in with the ni particle. Battle ni yuri. If you wanted to express the opposite that you were disadvantageous in something, then you would say something ni furi. So this Kizuna is actually advantageous in battle. Battle ni yuri. Kizuna wa battle ni mo yuri ni hatarakimasu. Sento chuu ni kizuna no fukamatta aite ga tonari ni iru to otagai no nouryuk ga joushou. Your abilities actually increase the characters when they're close to each other. So otagai no nouryuk, so otagai both of their abilities are increased. Joushou. Tomo ni tatakau hodo ni and so there you have it, you've learnt the important things about Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem is the What's important is Fire Emblem is to train your allies, nakama o sodate. To fight alongside them, nakama to tomo ni tatakao. Nakama o sodate, nakama to tomo ni tatakau koto. Shousu no character ni aijou o sosogu no ka. Subete no character ni manben naku aijou o sosogu no ka. Donna heishu ni tsukasete, donna tatakai kata o suru no ka. Subete wa anata shidai desu. Whether you put your affection for only a few characters, or to all of the characters, what type of classes your favorite characters take on, and what style of battle that you do, this is all up to you. Shidai means all up to, depending on, it's all your choice. So, subete wa anata shidai, it's all up to you. And that's the really cool thing about Fire Emblem. You can play how you want, play with the characters that you want, play with the classes that you want, play in the style that you want. And it's just this super fun, awesome RPG with a ton of interesting characters, amazing music, Japanese logs, so you can actually replay all of the audio as you actually play the game. You can replay the audio and listen and do listening practice. Absolutely incredible. Fire Emblem de nakama o sodateru tanoshisa o nakama to tomo ni shouri suru yorokobi o taiken shite mite kudasai. And so with the fun, tanoshisa, and the joy, yorokobi, please try it out yourself. Taiken shite mite kudasai. If you can't already tell, I'm absolutely hyped for this game. I absolutely can't wait for this game to come out. I think it comes out on the 20th of January, so very, very soon, this month actually. I'm not only hyped for Fire Emblem because I love Fire Emblem, it's such a fun series. I've played it for so many years, most of my life actually. But also, this game in particular is really cool because they're actually bringing back some of the older characters as these kind of rings that you can actually put on your character and have them attack as kind of almost like a JoJo's stand, like kind of the ghost guy that kind of fights for them. I mean, you can actually bring back some of your favorite characters like Ike and Lin and things like that. Really, really cool. I'm a little bit about the character designs. Some character designs, 
are okay, some are really not. <laughs> um, but one thing I must really appreciate about this game is that they're definitely trying to be a lot more creative with their character designs. They have some character designs I've never seen before in Fire Emblem, um, and there's a lot more hidden away. Like, it's not just these characters that we've seen in this trailer, there are a lot more characters, even some that haven't been publicly made available yet. Uh, so maybe you may be able to fight them, make them your enemy, maybe even recruit them into your own uh, team. That's a really cool thing about Fire Emblem is sometimes you can actually recruit the enemy into your team and it's just so hype because you don't know which enemy you can actually recruit and so you're like, oh, can I get them in my army? I want to get them and then unfortunately they die and then you find one that you can you're like, yeah! It's <laughs> a really, really fun game. This game is absolutely amazing but also it's such a cool game for learning Japanese. Fire Emblem is actually one of the greatest games for Japanese learners because of the fact that they have chat logs with replayable audio and an absolute ton of different variety of language uses, different characters, different ways of speaking, different situations. Um, the only downside for Fire Emblem when you're playing it from a Japanese perspective is that it is still fantasy, war, you're going to be learning a lot of difficult vocabulary that you're only going to see in this genre, but there's still going to be an absolute ton of language that you're not going to see anywhere else. So I'm really hyped for this game, hope you guys enjoy, I'm definitely going to be playing all of this game as soon as it comes out, and so I can use lots and lots of examples in upcoming Game Gengar videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you learned some interesting Japanese, hopefully you guys enjoy Fire Emblem when it comes out, thank you so much guys for watching, if you liked the video please like and subscribe, and come join us on the Game Gengar Discord community, come say hi, it's only $5 a month, you can join as a member, chat, get Japanese help, hang out, all that kind of stuff. And there's even some upper tiers which we're going to have a little bit more stuff like private streams and discounts on the merch store and all kinds of different things that we're going to be doing uh, into this year 2023. So I hope you guys enjoy the channel. Thank you so much guys for watching and have fun with your Japanese studies. See you guys.精一杯君の力になるよ。旅の途中で仲間と出会い、共に成長していくロールプレイングと育てた仲間を戦場で指揮して戦うシミュレーションバトルの要素を合わせ持ったゲーム。それがファイヤーエンブレムです。仲間にできるキャラクターは総勢三十人以上。性格や出身、年齢も異なる個性豊かなキャラクターたちは剣士や騎馬兵、重装歩兵に魔導士など兵士も様々。このたくさんの中からこの身のキャラクターを選んで育
重装歩兵は武器攻撃には強いが魔法には弱くペガサスナイトなどの飛行系は弓に弱い斧は剣に弱く槍は斧に弱いなど兵士や武器の相性があるので移動先には注意が必要裏を返せば敵の苦手を積極的に突いていくことが勝利への近道です少し難しそうに聞こえますが初めての方でも遊びやすい機能が盛りだくさん敵の射程圏内に入ると線で教えてくれるので次のターンで寄ってたかって攻撃されてしまうなんて状況も回避できます他にも攻撃の前に戦闘後のお互いの予想ヒットポイントや攻撃の順番最も効果的な武器を確認できるので結果を予測することができますとはいえうっかり弓の射程に入ってやられてしまったなんてこともそんな時には時間を遡って行動をやり直すことができます敵軍にはちょっと気の毒ですが初心者には心強い機能です<音声>バトルを重ね経験値がたまるとレベルアップ経験値は敵を倒した時にたくさんもらえるので味方でダメージを与えておき育てたい仲間でとどめを刺すようにすると成長が早まります他にも強い武器を持たせて攻撃力を上げたり鍛錬の間で鍛えたり。貴重なアイテムを使ったりお気に入りの仲間を強くする方法は様々ランダムで現れる遭遇戦はストーリーと関係なく何度でもバトルできるのでここで徹底的にレベルを上げることもそして仲間の成長に大きく影響するのが兵士の変更各キャラクターの兵士はあらかじめ決まっていますがアイテムを使うと別の兵士にクラスチェンジすることができます兵士が変われば戦い方もガラリと変化さらにレベルが10以上になると上級兵士にクラスチェンジできます上級兵士になるとさまざまな能力がアップ強力な武器も扱えるようにしかも見た目もレベルアップキャラクターへの思い入れが一層深まりますお気に入りのキャラクターを好きな兵士につかせあなたの目指す戦い方に合わせて育成して自分だけの最強の軍を編成してみてくださいた同士が隣で戦ったり回復してあげたりすると仲間同士の絆がどんどん深まり支援会話が見られるように支援会話から垣間見える仲間たちの意外な一面2人の絆が深まるほどそれぞれの思いや関係隠された背景を深く知ることができるようになります私もよ絆はバトルにも有利に働きます戦闘中に絆の深まった相手が隣にいるとお互いの能力が上昇共に戦うほどにお互いにとってどんどん心強い存在になっていくのです<笑>いかがでしたかファイヤーエンブレムで大切なのは仲間を育て仲間と共に戦うこと少数のキャラクターに愛情を注ぐのか全てのキャラクターにまんべんなく愛情を注ぐのかどんな兵士につかせてどんな戦い方をするのか
すべてはあなた次第ですファイヤーエンブレムで仲間を育てる楽しさを仲間と共に勝利する喜びを体験してみてくださいいいですよね。